Hello golfers, it is Kyla Anaba from the Predator Ridge Academy and today I have a tip for you on chipping and how to control your trajectory by your ball position. All right, so let's get into it here. All right, we're gonna go over three ball positions today. So um, we're gonna start with the simplest shot here, which is just a bump and run. We want the ball to go low. You have a lot of green to work with. You don't have a lot of rough or sand to go over. All right, so we're gonna have that ball position just off that back foot inside that, or just right by that back heel. Okay, and that's gonna go nice and low and running for you okay then from there we're going to move it to the middle so if you have a little bit more rough you might have to go over or fly over um, then we get that middle ball position all right then if you have a little bit more of a scenario where you need to get the ball up a little bit more all right um, we're going to go towards that front foot so those are three ball positions and they affect the loft of the club face. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to put this aiming device on the club. Now, uh, if that's square, okay, and if I put this off of my back foot, let's say, and compare that loft to when I put it off my front foot, okay, you can see the difference in the loft that is presented to the club. All right. So that is why we change trajectory through ball position. Where people kind of mess up is that because they've only been taught to have the ball at the back of their stance, they try to hit a high shot from this position and they can't do it, right? So from here, they'd have to kind of put their weight backwards, which we know we don't want, and then probably do something funky with their arms to try to get the ball in the air, all right? If we just get that ball position forward, weight can stay on the front foot, everything can then move forward, and our arms can stay the same radius instead of trying to do something funky and then hitting a shot like that. All right, so what we can do, a little drill for you guys to try either in your backyard or inside on the carpet. All right, I've got a book. Okay, and I'm just gonna put it three or four feet in front. And all we're doing is just experimenting on trajectories and how high we really need the ball to go. So we're just trying to get it over to that little book so it doesn't need to go very high here. So all we're gonna do is back of the stance, Okay, and a nice soft little shot like that. Okay, so nice low running shot. Okay, then we're gonna introduce um, a little bit taller target. You can stack it or just have it on its own. So from here, we do need a little bit more height. Okay, so we might go a little bit more towards the middle of the stance, weight still on that front foot. Okay. And you can do this with a ping pong ball or a foam ball inside. Um, you could have some sort of barrier that you're chipping into. Okay, and then we can add um, a shoe box on a taller setting. Okay, so for this one, you might switch clubs. Okay, so I might choose to go to a sand wedge or a gap wedge on this shot. Okay, depending on how close that box is to you. Obviously, the closer it is here, the higher we have to get it up. Always give yourself about a club width so you don't hit it on the way through. Okay, so from here, we know this needs to be a little bit higher. We're gonna put it towards that front foot, all right, and then Try to maintain that same radius all the way through with your arms instead of where you try to back up and bring the arms in. Okay, so give that a try at home. This is really just a drill to experiment with that ball position and then the trajectory of your chip shots. Okay, guys, so have a great rest of your day. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.